Hello everyone, welcome back to Hangar 14. Uh, it's been some time since we posted a video in Hangar 14, but we've been very busy at KFA uh, developing new models and also uh, developing our engine range or expanding our engine range. And in today's video, we'll be discussing the CA500 from Zonsen. Zonsen is changing the engine range numbers, so the 80 horsepower will be known as the CA300, the 100 horsepower as the CA500 and so on, it, uh, the model goes up 510, 510T and so on. We use both the Rotax and the Zonsen as a base engine for the KFA turbo upgrades and you as a client have the choice whether you want the Rotax or the Zonsen base engine. The Zonsen base engine is uh, significantly cheaper than the Rotax engine. Um, it comes with the same warranty and same TBO. I think we'll start off by discussing the CA500 base engine before we modify the engine uh, just to show you the differences on the engine, things we like, things we don't like. Uh, for this I will be introducing Dylan. Uh, Dylan is our engine expert at KFA and he does all the conversions uh, for us. Okay, so Dylan, can you dive into what you like, what you don't like and what the differences are between this engine and the other well-known brands out there? Sure, absolutely. Well, uh, straight out of the gate, the first thing you'll see is this nice Sarah coating that they, uh, they put on the gearbox, the crankcase, manifolds and the heads. It's quite nice, easy to clean. Uh, a big difference is in the gearbox, the prop shaft has been heat treated or quenched in, in some way that I haven't seen before, which is quite nice. The clutch is exactly the same assembly. It's got the main gear, the dog gear, and the, it disengages when you get a prop strike. The clutch, the clutch plates are a brighter copper color that I, I'm not too familiar with. I haven't seen a color like that before. Mm. Um, some other small differences, especially in the carbs. It's got four screws on top. And what's really nice is it's got this plate that the uh, choke and throttle are attached to, which is really handy for maintenance because when you need to work on the carbs, you can just take this plate off instead of disassembling the settings on the, the throttle. So all your adjustments remain the same. Exactly. Okay. Another a handy feature is it comes with these screw-in carb balls. Okay. Just like in the 915s, which means we can... 914 you mean? 914, sorry. It, uh, which means we can up the pressure in the carb bolt. Yeah, that's a nice feature which I like personally because we can boost a little bit higher and you don't have to worry about the leaking of the carb seals or the bowl seal. Exactly. Um, so what other differences? I see something different here with the fuel pump. Oh yes. And the, the, and the fuel lines, yeah. The fuel pump and the fuel lines are standard from Zhongshen. They come with the heat shield and nice crimps on them and really well set up between the two carbs, which is quite nice. I don't see any other major differences here. So what don't we like? I think the biggest thing we don't like is they're maybe a little heavy handed on the 577 torque seal between the, the, the fuel pump and the tappet covers and the crankcase and gearbox. So they, they might have a little bit too much there, but rather too much than too little, I guess. As long as it doesn't get in the engine. But so yes. far we haven't had any we issues. We haven't had any issues no. like that. Internally, we um, let me just mention this, we've opened up uh, one engine, we've measured it up, we've checked all the, the quality and everything, and so far we cannot find any reason to doubt the quality and reliability of this engine. So we don't use at the moment, we don't use the normally or naturally aspirated 100 horsepower engine as a uh, engine working in this configuration. We yeah. actually modify it. Yes. Um, and we increase the power to 135 horsepower. So it actually means we are letting this block work much harder. Much harder. And um, so far, no issues with the extra 35 horsepower that we are taking out of this engine. Yep. So anything else? It's very smooth. We found that the new the engine, once we've modified it and we've been flying with it for a while, it's very, very smooth. Well, I can agree with that. Okay, so we've now discussed some of the features that we like and we don't like. So I think what we need to do is show you guys what is in the box. Um, we've packed everything out on the, on the table now, so we'll go over there and we'll unbox everything and you guys can see what comes standard with the engine. Okay, as mentioned before, we are now gonna just uh, see what's in the box and uh, Dylan will open the boxes, we'll pack it out here and you guys can see what is in the box. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I gotta say, I love unboxing these engines. It's and, like Christmas. Oh yeah. And just to have these little extra boxes in there, it's just an added little bonus. OK, 
Okay, let's start with the first one. Okay, so the small box. Small box. So we have the regulator. Yep. And okay, so what, what is this? This is a oil pressure sensor harness. And what's nice, it's made up already and it's quite long. I don't know how long this cable is, but it looks at least to be a meter long. Mm. That's what, three foot for the Americans? Yep. So nice and handy. Very cool. That Leatherman is doing its job. Oh yeah. So hashtag Leatherman. Leatherman, not sponsored yet. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so in this box we have the uh, elbows that will be um, the connectors for the uh, oil tank. So there are three of them. Here's our starter relay. Starter relay. Those are the starter relays we use on our installations, right? Yeah. All right. Next one. one. This is, this is quite interesting, it's that barb fitting. Ah, so this is for the fuel pump. They, oil pump. Uh, correction, yeah, oil pump. So yes. they, they have a, a barb fitting instead of the ban banjo fitting. I, yeah, I prefer the, the, the banjo fittings to those because then you can actually stick a 90 degree yeah. fitting on the end. So this is maybe not the best feature, but you can, you can always fit you can a banjo yeah. if you want. We'll get into that with the, um, when we do the turbo upgrades. Okay, so we have, um, Four of these, these are the flanges for the um, uh, exhaust fittings and these are the knuckles that will go, they call it the exhaust elbow joint, Yes. Uh, which will be going into the engine. We don't Four use of any of those because it comes with the turbo upgrade. Yeah, base. so with the turbo we don't need that, so no. yeah, we, we sit with a lot of spares. If somebody is looking for those, yeah. we sell them. Um, the igniter pin, which is actually uh, for the, the mags. Yes in order to, to switch them on and off. And this is very nice. Yeah, this it actually is, has a capacitor with it. Yeah, so we always struggle to get the 25 volt, 22,000 microfarad capacitors. And uh, Zonsen supplies them with the engine, so this is very nice. And these are the last of the lock nuts involved with the... Oh, so these are, these are just for the, for the, the exhaust, exhaust, exhaust screws. Exactly. So that's it for the small boxes, so let's move on to the large one. Here we go. So yeah, what, what is different on this oil tank? They, uh, they don't weld the fittings onto the top of the oil tank. It looks so, like brazing to me. Looks a bit like brazing. That's the only difference I can see. Other than that, it looks identical to other brands out there. Same fittings, even the same uh, dipstick. And then uh, we get an engine logbook with the engine serial number. I can't read in Mandarin. <laughs> uh, but they have it in English as well. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> lucky for us. And then uh, we get a pack list of everything that's in the, the box. And this is a quality certificate. And yeah, that's it. So the other thing that can be supplied is the ASTM approval uh, certificate. So we, we can supply that to OEMs that want to install this in production aircraft. And um, that's about it. Overall, what do we think? What's th our impression? I think it's a pretty good kit. I mean, they put in everything that you need and a couple of things you don't, which is also still nice to have. Mm. And um, I don't see anything wrong with anything that they've given us. There's no dents in the oil can. There's nothing missing. So One thing I can say, which I, which I uh, saw on on everything here, the cylinders, and even when we opened the gearbox, yeah. was that everything was serialized. Um, so even this is nicely laser engraved um, with the serial numbers and the part numbers. And I saw on the engine here, it's highly professional, and I like that. So with uh, these engines, we ordered some uh, blank tappet covers from Zonsen. And the reason being that we would like to offer our customers the option of a little bit of a customization. Um, this is a nice feature. And like uh, Dylan just pointed out to me, uh, you can change the color and we can also brand uh, the tapper covers. If you're an OEM, we can put your name on here. If you're a customer, we can put your name on here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can choose the color. Maybe you can color match to your aircraft. Um, it's definitely an option. And I think that's a very nice little little touch. touch. Yeah. yeah. A little added detail. And I think that's it for now. We're okay. going to end the video here. And uh, the next video will be uh, diving into the customization of this engine. 
We'll be stripping it down, do the upgrade. So if you like what we are doing, please like and subscribe and do comment below. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.